her is you get what which is absolutely amazing why does everyone text me when I'm filming I I get no text during the day and then when I sit down to film everyone wants to text me I don't get it I will have the links to sign up to both of these subscription I needed to oh okay hey guys welcome to my channel if you guys are new here I would love if you would subscribe down below if you guys want to if not that's cool too if I seem a little tired or seem a little under the weather, it's simply because I am. Um, I actually have a cold right now. It doesn't really sound like it because it's in the beginning stage. My throat started hurting yesterday and I'm just like so tired and like just weak feeling. But today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing and my Ipsy unbagging. So I say this in all of my BoxyCharm and Ipsy unbaggings, but if you're not familiar what they are, they're just monthly subscription boxes. BoxyCharm is um, 20, 21 or 22 a month, and Ipsy is $10. Usually BoxyCharm you get five full-size products, and the box is usually worth like over $100. And the Ipsy is more for the girl that like likes to try out samples and things like that. Ipsy is a great bag, it's just a lot of the times it's a hit or miss for me. So we shall see what is in there this month. I will have the link down below to sign up for these subscription boxes if you are interested. But let's start off with BoxyCharm. So when you open it up, it comes with the card of the month and it says Spellbound, so obviously for October. And the cool thing about BoxyCharm is you have each item and the price on here. So let's see what we have in here. First, this one is popping out to me, and this is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. So I do have the other one that's in the black packaging from BoxyCharm, and this is, let's see, this retails for $58. That is absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, this is $58, and it's a pore perfecting technology at your fingertips with a professional grade micro crystal solution that instantly deep cleans and refines pores. So I'm really excited to use this. I've been really trying to get into skincare lately because I do wear a lot of makeup. I'm getting older and I figured I should probably get into skincare um, before it's a little too late. So I'm really excited to try this out. Dr. Brandt is a great brand. So really excited that this came in the box. And the next thing is by Becca. Are you kidding me? I can't believe that this is in the box. Becca is like a really high-end brand that you can find at Sephora and it just like shocked me when I just saw this in the box. This is their, their Shimmering Skin Perfector in um, Prosecco Pop. So this is what the packaging looks like. This retails for $38 and it's the full size which is amazing. It is a beautiful, beautiful gold highlight. I actually have this already in my um, Jaclyn Hill and Becca face palette that comes with like the Champagne Pop and the Prosecco Pop and I literally have a dent in both of them so I'm so excited to get the full size of the Prosecco Pop and I thought this was limited edition but obviously I don't think it is. It is a really, really pretty gold highlight. This would look stunning on darker skin tones because it is more of like a gold highlight, but I do love this on my skin tone as well. I think it's so pretty. It's not overly poweringly like gold, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't have a crazy yellow undertone to it, but it is so beautiful. So this is so exciting to get in the box. Like I literally still can't believe that this was in the box. That's awesome. The next thing in here is from Tarte. And this is their lip paint. So I don't know if this one dries down. Um, oh, okay. yeah, it does. So it says it's a quick dry matte lip paint. And this is in the color front row. And it just looks like this. I'm not a huge fan of this color. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I don't really go for like orangey colors like this. I either like a like mauve dark or like a brown. I don't really like the um, warmer browns on my lip. I don't think... This actually might be really pretty though, um, especially with like a nude on top of it. So that is what, that's actually really pretty. That's the color right there. It's kind of similar to what I have on my lips right now. Right now I'm wearing um, Whirl Lipstick from MAC with the Dose of Colors and Desi Perkins and Katie collab. It's the nude lipstick. So that's what's on my lips right now, but I do really like this. I'll have to play around with it. This is a full-size product. It retails for $20. 
and I'm excited to try this. The next thing in here is actually a lip liner right here, and it looks like it could actually go really well with that um, lip paint. This is by the brand, um, I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. This retails for $5, which is actually really affordable and it's in the color brown sugar and that is what it looks like this would probably pair pretty good with that one um so i love getting lip liners i don't like pencil lip liners as much as i like ret retractable lip liners just because you have to sharpen them and they're kind of more drying but I'm excited to have another lip liner. I love lip products in general, so anytime I get anything that has to do with lips, I'm excited. And then the last thing in the box is by the brand, um, okay, so it's NCLA Los Angeles, and they teamed up with BoxyCharm, and it's called Nailed It. I'm guessing there's nail products, yep. So this is what it looks like. It's this cute little nail kit. You get some scissors, you get a nail clipper, and some other things to like push back your cuticle and things like that. So this is something great to just like throw in your purse. I feel like there's always that time where you have like a hangnail or you just need a file if you break a nail or something, and this is perfect to just throw in your bag. So that's really cool. This one retails for $18. So that was everything in my BoxyCharm. So far, I really liked everything. Definitely my favorite thing in the box was the Becca highlight. I'm really excited for this exfoliator, the lip paint. I wish I got a different color, but I'm not gonna be greedy. My sister actually got a really pretty color in her BoxyCharm. It's like a nude and I was so jealous, but this is actually pretty for fall. So we'll see how I like it. Okay, so let's move into Ipsy. What the hell? Okay, so this probably didn't fit in the bag and that's why it was in here. This looks like it is from Urban Decay and it's their 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Perversion. So I'm so excited um, to actually have this because I really like the Urban Decay liners. I have a couple from them in different colors, but this one is in black and this is super black. I actually used to own this, but I used the entire pencil and never repurchased it just because I just, you know, it's one of those things you go through and there's so, I have so many black eyeliners that I just used my other ones, but this is extremely pigmented, extremely pigmented, very black, creamy, and it says it's waterproof, so that's amazing for the waterline. I already am so excited that this was in the Ipsy bag because lately I've been kind of let down from Ipsy and that just kind of made it all better because that's actually a pretty good size liner. It's not the full size, or maybe this is, is this the full size? I don't remember. So the bag is so cute this month. How freaking cute is that? There's like a little bat on it. It's so pretty. It's like that kind of laced. It's not like actual lace, but it has like the lace detail on here. And I really, really like this actually. So let's see. The first thing in here looks like something that we always get in Ipsy. I feel like they always have like some sort of chubby stick in the Ipsy bag. This is by the brand Luna and it's a lip crayon. It is this really pretty pink. It's actually not that vibrant. Sometimes on camera things look brighter than they actually are, but it is a pretty intense pink, but it's not that intense. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. This smells like a legit crayon, like a legit Crayola crayon. Like they weren't kidding when they named it lip crayon because if you smelt this, it smells like you're smelling a legit Crayola crayon, which I'm not a fan of. I mean, that's kind of weird to me. It has that really like waxy crayon like smell to it. I feel like if they had put something else in here to make it not smell like that, then that would be better, but it's kind of cool because it does roll up and I actually do like the color of it, so I probably will use this. All right, so this next item in here I'm actually really excited about. This is by Smashbox and it's their Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. I'm really excited to get this because I heard that this is an amazing eyeshadow primer. I don't even wanna like waste it right now on my hand, but I heard really good things about it. That's it right there, it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like, not warmer, it's more of like a pinky toned color, but I feel like this would be perfect for a base on your lids. And I've never really tried using like a legit eyeshadow primer before eyeshadow. I always just go in with concealer, and then I set the concealer and that works perfectly fine for my eyeshadow. But I'm really excited to try an actual primer from Smashbox because I've heard good things about this. So this is another plus. I'm actually really excited. And then the last item, why is there only four things in here? 
Okay, so I don't know if I'm losing my mind or if something fell out of the bag and I'm like not finding it, but I only have four products here. So I have the eyeliner, the primer, this chubby stick, and then this last thing that I'm gonna talk about. I'm pretty sure that there was something else in here because I did take a peek at it when it first came to my house and I don't know if something fell out of it. Uh, something definitely probably fell out because I've never had this happen where they only give me four things. So I think my fifth item must have fallen out when I opened it. But this last item I've gotten before in the Ipsy bag. This is the by the brand First Aid Beauty and this is their Ultra Repair Cream. I've gotten this so many times I feel like. Like I, I've definitely got this like three times. This is something good to just throw in your bag but I, like I said, I own this and I have like a couple of them. Um, so I'll probably just give this to my mom or maybe my sister. But it's a great thing to put in your purse because it is a little travel size. It does feel like pretty moisturizing so this is actually good for me to have because since I'm a hairstylist I'm constantly in water you know shampooing clients just always washing my hands and my hands get so dry at work so this is something great to throw in my bag so I'm happy about that so that was everything that I got this month for my boxy charm and my ipsy well minus one item that must have like got out and crawled somewhere because I don't know where it went give this video a thumbs up if you guys still like the boxy charm and ipsy bag unboxings I don't know if you guys still want to see these kind of videos but I film them because they're fun to do I like kind of seeing what I got and I like hearing what you guys got as well. That pretty much is it. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!